Hello and welcome to Go With The Heat. I'm Dominic. And I'm John. I'm Melissa. And this is your cultural guide to the phenomenon that was Miami Vice. This week we're talking about Season 4, Episode 17, titled Hell Hath No Fury. And you know, this is really a departure from the normal Miami Vice episode. And, I, and Season 4 has been a nothing departure. but that. <laughs> yeah. But this one is really different. Um, and I'm interested to see at the end where everyone stands on this. I don't want anyone to give to tip their hands on how they feel about this episode. Save it to the end. But I'm okay. really interested because I have a feeling it's going to be a mixed bag. Okay. <laughs> Keep my mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> it originally premiered on March 11th, 1988. It is written by David Black, who also wrote Death and the Lady. Interesting. Okay, don't go out with that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. No. Don't go on a date yeah, with that no. guy. He wrote both of those episodes. <laughs> Something's not right. <laughs> it is directed by Virgil Vogel, who also directed Cuba Libre, Teresa, and he's got one more coming. Okay, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you get a pass. <laughs> All right, John, let's talk about this week's music. This is going to be a fantastic music segment because we're getting something that has never happened before. This is that we're breaking ground on this week's music segment. What do you got for us this week, John? Oh, oh, hi, um, <laughs> hey guys. I, I, I see. There's, th- there's absolutely no music. Zero, <laughs> zilch. N- not any music. I thought. I thought. I, I, I thought we all knew. Like there's just there's nothing. So. Oh. So I, I wonder. Was, I wonder if they even reused. Jan Hammer music. I, he didn't even make new music for the episode. I wonder if it was just reused. So Vice screwed me. They didn't give me any music to do. So I'm just going to make you guys all sit here and quiet uh, while we think about uh, what. No. Just remember, John, that they did a whole episode where it was nothing but theme music from old Western movies. So they thought even less of this week's episode than that one. For, there was zero music. I took it upon myself. To look up the top songs in 1988 and try and find some songs that might have fit this episode. <laughs> I would have liked to talk about um, had they given me the opportunity. <laughs> Here are some of the songs and artists we could be talking about, but because Vice is lazy, we're not. <laughs> um, the, the biggest song in 1988? Faith by George Michael. We could be talking about George Michael, his his the George Michael scandal. We can talk about how Faith was covered by Limp Biscuit, and how <laughs> everyone went out and bought Red Yankees hats after that. <laughs> and, and I guess Faith doesn't really fit the episode. No, so, and you know but, what? George Michael wasn't even that big of a person in what? the eighties. Like he was a nobody. Why would you ever talk? <laughs> about you want George me to fight Michael? you? I'll fight you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love your re- your rendition of that also. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all the words were going into my head, by the way. <laughs> love that song. <laughs> Never gonna dance again. Guilty <laughs> feet have got no rhythm. Told you I know all the words. <laughs> so, okay. What else can we do? What could be more toward the episode-wise? Well... Never gonna give you up kind of gives us toward that creepy vibe, you know, him calling her. And I could have grigled you guys. Come on. <laughs> give me a little bit, Ashley. <laughs> there was a, a number of Whitney Houston songs we could have gone with. There was even a Bobby Brown song, Bobby Brown's Don't Be Cruel, which turns out wasn't actually ironic. <laughs> Might have actually been like autobiography. <laughs> Guns N' Roses, really sweet child of mine in 88. That, I mean, I could have spent the whole time talking about Guns N' Roses and how Slash is awesome and how much everyone hates uh, the lead singer. Or Axel. Axel Rose is the new lead singer at ACDC. He's got something going. <laughs> I, at least he's got a band. <laughs> so how's that going to work, though? I thought Axel was against all the drinking and partying. And isn't uh, that what AC, AC, DC does? Like, isn't that all they do? Back to the music. They could have gone with Anything For You, Gloria Estefan, and the Miami Sound. And I feel like at some point we should really be talking about Gloria Estefan and the Miami Sound. Just because her backing band, the Miami Sound, uh, sounds like they should be the house band for Vice. <laughs> 
Exactly. Like they would be nothing without Vice. Yeah. Like you wouldn't be able to call yourself the yeah. Sound Machine and have like how their logo was and mm-hmm. everything. Like it's Vice. Yeah. Gloria she, Stefan is Vice. Also, she's huge in Miami. She's like a huge person in Miami. She does all kinds of like charity stuff and her husband's really involved in everything. Yeah. But no, we're not going to have nope. that. Yeah. How has she, she not been featured multiple times in this show? Already? So uh, we can go with one of my favorites, uh, Get Out of My Dreams and Into My Car and Get Into My Car <laughs> by Billy Ocean. And I, I swear to you, uh, somewhere around my house in a random drawer or box, there is a Billy Ocean cassette tape. <laughs> <laughs> and it's red. <laughs> yes. But I guess that doesn't really fit much with the episode. Uh, neither would White Snake or Michael Jackson. There was uh, another band called Johnny Hates Jazz who did a song called Shattered Dreams. I've never heard of this song, but I like the name of the band. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, it, it just seemed like the best band name on there. Johnny Hates Jazz. Um, and maybe just because, you know, this John loves jazz. And I actually have a whole playlist just dedicated to jazz. Yeah, see, I'm, I might have something in common with this band. That sounds like, you know, I should give them a list of Johnny Hates Jazz. <laughs> what do they call it? Dominic Hates Jazz. Hey. It might be too on the nose. I'm telling you. Get some... Th- get some the loneliest monk in your life. You will you will thank me. <laughs> we could have done the best, the greatest stripper song ever, or some sugar on me by Def Leppard. <laughs> that was released 1988. You cannot go into a strip club. I swear to God, you can't go into a strip club and not hear that song at least once an hour. Now on stage, Destiny clicks clear heels together. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, if none of it works, or we could have at least, at the very least, like you, Dom, touched on on This Week in Vice, Patrick Swayze got in on the action with She's Like the Wind featuring Wendy Frazier. And isn't Patrick Swayze just, just a more hunky version of Don Johnson anyway? Yeah. <laughs> there are three songs from Dirty Dancing that are in the top ten and Dirty Dancing it's like on the top of the yeah. of the box office at this time when these episodes are coming out. And still, I don't he- see anything redeeming from Dirty Dancing. Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys about Dirty Dancing, man? Roadhouse. Yeah, exactly. All about Roadhouse. <laughs> don't you talk bad about the dead. He'll haunt your ass. He's a ghost. I got He's a against. ghost. I got <laughs> the ghost is a ghost. <laughs> Patrick Swayze was a ghost. Look, I got nothing against so, Swayze. I like Swayze. Okay. 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 But let's just all be on the same page here. Dirty Dancing is not much of a movie. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. All right. All right. We will end this in this segment. If none of that caught your fancy, then we could always go with good old Bon Jovi's Bad Medicine. If this episode left a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> And that's your music. I can't believe, I still can't believe that there's an episode of Miami Vice with literally no pop music in it. How? I don't how? know how they got away with it's that. one of the things, like fashion, fast cars, highlight. Why do you think it is, though? Like, music. why? Do you think they did it on purpose because they're like, it's too I think much they of- cut their budget. They oh, cut the budget okay. on how much money they would spend. It, just, honest- it seems like the music's always been such a big part, especially even of the serious episodes. Like, they go, like Dominic said, they go out of their way to a whole episode full of music from old Western mo- Western TV shows. Or like they did a whole episode of music from late 1800, early 1900 classical composers. Well, that's going to do it for us on Go With The Heat. We hope you enjoyed this episode. As we broke down the Miami Vice episode, Hell Hath No Fury. We would love to hear from you. Email us, go with the heat at gmail.com. Let us know your thoughts on this episode and let us know what your thoughts are on who was making those phone calls. I'm like mind blown right now. Oh my God, it could be the TV show host that was ma- that was doing those phone calls. Email us, let us know what your thoughts are on who was actually making those phone calls. Go with the heat at gmail.com. It was totally the kids and waits. <laughs> it's a minute Gotta everybody starts lifting <laughs> be sure to check out that website go with the heat.com you can find all the ways to support us support step number one email us tweet at us get us on facebook we would love to hear from you let us know what you think about this episode and miami vice support number two go to your podcast your platform of choice and give us a five-star rating. Whatever the highest rating is. It could be stars. It could be pineapples. I don't know what it is. Give it us the highest rating. But don't write a review. 
no one ever reads the reviews. They just look at the star rating. So instead of putting in your review of the show, put in there what we want to hear, which is who do you think was making those phone calls? Give us a breakdown on all the potential people that could be in the city of Miami. The deeper the canon you go, the better. I mean, go deep. Can you pull a Lombard into it? <laughs> go for it. Pull a Lombard into this story. <laughs> Support number three, check out that Patreon. Patreon.com slash go with the heat. We have many, many plans that we want to do at the end of Miami Vice. Go check that out and see what our future plans are and see how you can show your support. You want to send us a nickel? We'll take your nickel. If you send us a dollar, I promise you, John will get a nickel. Yeah. At least. He'll at least get a nickel. <laughs> That's going to do it for us this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see y'all next time. Bye, pal.